Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a long overdue minimalism decluttering video. It's been a really long time since I last filmed one of these videos and lately I've just been craving less. I feel like I am so overwhelmed with the amount of products I have and just stuff in my apartment. So I've really been trying to focus on decluttering and just keeping products that I know that I love work well for me and aren't expired the whole nine yards. I changed the way that I store and organize my makeup when I moved to at DC as well. So if you guys wanna kind of start back at the beginning of my like minimalism decluttering journey for my makeup collection, I will leave the original videos linked down below. I'm not gonna go through the full disclaimer like I have in previous videos, but essentially I am very aware that this is not a minimalist makeup collection. I don't think I'll ever be a true minimalist when it comes to makeup and just own three or four products, but I do really enjoy the process of decluttering and cutting down on products to build a more minimalist collection. So keep that in mind, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into it. This is the current setup in my bathroom. As you can see, I don't have a ton of countertop space, but this makeup organizer from Target actually fits pretty well flushed against the wall here. So that is what houses 99% of my makeup. And then I have this empty candle holder that I have for brushes, toothbrush holder, and all of that good stuff. It's not the worst setup. I just feel like it's super cluttered. And because I want to get rid of things anyway, I'm hoping I can kind of consolidate that just to look a little bit more minimalistic and clean in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and this out to my living room, get some better lighting, and then go through everything with you all. The first thing I wanna tackle is my makeup brushes. I feel like the face brushes that I have, I get a ton of use out of, but a lot of the eyeshadow brushes I haven't touched in years. I am just not as into eye makeup as I used to be. So I feel like that's where I'll be able to really consolidate. My issue with parting with brushes isn't that I necessarily need all of these, but I like having duplicates of some just because I honestly don't wash my brushes that often. So this is definitely an underwhelming start, but I am gonna go ahead and part with these four brushes just because they're either really poor quality or they're just super old. I don't use them. I definitely could cut back more, but like I said, just because I really don't wash my brushes that often, I like to have backups of a few. So for now, these four are gonna go. I think the last time I filmed a decluttering video, I was still using that three drawer system. So I did upgrade. I really love this organizer just because you can see everything at once on like the drawer system. And I think it looks a little bit nicer on the counter. So I've been super happy with this, but in this big section, I have all of my face products. Here is lip products and then kind of goes into eye makeup and just some bigger things that didn't fit anywhere else. I think I'm gonna start off by sorting through my face makeup just because I feel like that is probably the most narrowed down section. So I know I don't have too many choices to make there. I only have two foundations in my collection right now. This first one is from Wet n Wild. This has been my go-to for years. My daily foundation, it's inexpensive. It doesn't break me out. It's so great, can't recommend it enough. And then I have a Bare Minerals press powder just for days that I don't really want to wear makeup but want to cover up just like some redness and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep both of those. And then for concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this old shape tape. If you guys watched my vlog last week, I had a pretty big Ulta haul in it and I got a mini shape tape and a NARS creamy concealer to replace this. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those concealers because I just picked them up last week. I have tried really hard the last couple of years to only have a cruelty-free makeup collection or use up anything that wasn't cruelty-free and then not repurchase it. But for whatever reason, I just blacked out in Ulta last week and completely forgot that NARS is not cruelty-free. So I'm not gonna repurchase this, but I already opened it and started using it. So I do wanna use it up. It's a good concealer, I like it, but I actually do like the shape tape better still and cruelty free, so I'll use it up, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I only have one bronzer in my collection, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. This is the Too Faced Smoke Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This has been my go-to for the last couple of years. I absolutely love it. 
I decided to keep both of the blushes that I have. This Tarte one is my everyday blush. It's in Parte. It's such a good everyday color and just my go-to. And then I don't know why I can't part with this Glossier Cloud Paint. I really never reach for it. I feel like I have this delusional vision in my head where I use this in the summer on the weekends before I run errands. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it until maybe this fall and if I don't reach for it this summer or spring when it warms up I definitely need to toss this and then as far as highlights I decided to keep two of the four that I had this first one is a Tarte highlight in the shade Stunner as you can see I've gotten a ton of wear out of this it's honestly almost gone um, but this is just a really great everyday highlight so I definitely want to keep this one and then I'm also going to keep this highlight from CoverGirl in Pearl Crush, I believe. I find that this is a little bit more wearable of a highlight. It's less of that chunky glazed donut look. Not that the Tarte one is per se, but this one's just a little bit more natural. So I prefer to wear this to work if I'm going to wear a highlight or just want something a little bit more subtle if I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of those. And then I'm going to pass on the Glossier Highlight Stick in Quartz. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now and honestly it just never works the way I want it to. I feel like it just sits on top of my skin and makes me feel kind of greasy. So I'm going to go ahead and part with this even though that's a little bit painful. And then I'm also going to part with this Becca highlight. I'm not going to open it because it shattered so many times that I just don't want it to go everywhere. This was a really great highlight when it first came out, but I just never really reach for it anymore. It's a little bit darker than I would naturally gravitate towards now. This served me really well, but it's time to pass it along. And then actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this RCMA translucent powder. I was super into setting my makeup in college just because my skin was a lot worse and I was wearing a lot heavier of makeup. And I feel like that was just kind of the trend too, was like baking and going through the whole nine yards, which I personally don't really do anymore. I This is a really great product with really bad packaging. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's no sifter to it. It just opens up to a cap or like a shake lid, which just makes application so difficult in the morning. I honestly haven't used this in over a year and a half and there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this. Moving on to lip products. I feel like this is the category I'm going to be the most brutal in. Starting off with these two Makeup Forever lipsticks. I got these at a YouTube event, I think my sophomore year of college, and I've literally never worn them. They're beautiful lipsticks. I just really only wear low maintenance makeup is what I've learned about myself. Any type of makeup that I have to check in on and make sure it hasn't smudged or worn off weird or anything like that, I've realized I just don't wear. Um, so one of these is a really pretty like red color. Like what is even happening with this? It's like basically damaged. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a really pretty red color. I just, I can't even tell you the last time I wore red lipstick. And then this one is also really pretty, but it's a little bit darker than an everyday color that I would ever wear. Also, it has a hair in it, so that's gross. I also have these three liquid lips, and I never, ever wear these either. Again, I feel like these were super trendy a couple of years ago, but dry matte makeup just isn't really in trend now. So I'm definitely going to part with this one from Ofra Cosmetics, I think. Really beautiful color, just don't wear it anymore and then of these two I think I like the idea of this mellow one better like I like the color of this on its own better but on my skin tone I actually prefer this tart one it's just a little bit more natural and subdued so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this because I can remember the last time I wore this which was still a really long time ago but I at least can remember a time I've worn it I have a clear lip gloss from Glossier that I do really like. I don't wear it too often just because I feel like if I'm walking anywhere, which I am most of the time, I don't like when my hair gets stuck, but I do like it for taking photos or videos, stuff like that. And then the GlossierBalm.com is an absolute staple of mine. You guys can see this one's almost out. I keep these everywhere in my purse, by my bed, at my office. So 
great, great product from Glossier. And then I have this lip liner from Bare Minerals. This isn't something that I wear super often either, but if I want to give the illusion of slightly fuller lips or anything like that, I do actually really like this one. I think it's pretty similar to my natural lip color. And I like pencils like this because you can just sharpen them when they get old and it's kind of like a new product. I know that that's not exactly how bacteria works, but uh, close enough. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and keep those four and then toss the first four that I showed. So I feel like cutting that in half is actually pretty significant progress. I'm going to jump around here for a second and go through my eyeshadow palettes. So the first two that I have back here are the Naked 2 and Naked 3 palette. You could definitely argue that these are super out of date and just not something that I reach for that that often, but I do reach for them every once in a while and I feel like eyeshadow, I understand it expires, but does it expire? Like, does it really? Does it actually matter compared to like mascara or eyeliner? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these even though if I wanted to be a true minimalist, I would get rid of them, but I am not. I'm also gonna keep my Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. This is a somewhat more recent purchase i got this i think my senior year of college and i like the size i like the tones so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that but i am gonna pass on this super old lorac palette this is something that i used to love but with like moving and just time it's gotten really gross and grimy again if i open this this is one that shadows have crumbled and just kind of go everywhere so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this one and then just to round out this section here, I'm going to definitely be keeping this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is probably in my top five makeup essentials. I love using a setting spray. It just makes me feel so much more confident throughout the day that my makeup's gonna stay on. It's not gonna transfer or budge, anything like that. So I love that. Moving on to single eyeshadows. I don't even know how many I have. I feel like they just linger in these like tiny front compartments that I don't see. Like the fact that I just pulled dust out on this one, this one automatically has to go. I'm realizing that if someone broke into my apartment and threw out my naked palettes, I don't think I would notice that they were gone when doing my makeup. Like obviously I would physically notice that they were gone, but it really wouldn't change anything about my day-to-day -day routine. So I don't know why I'm being weird about giving those up, but that's something I'm gonna sit with for the next like three months and then maybe part with at least one of them. But I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware, and that's the first step. But I am gonna part with a few eyeshadows. There's nothing wrong with any of these. They're just colors that I don't really gravitate towards or really old formulas, just something I don't really wear that often. But the first two shadows I'm gonna be keeping are from Urban Decay. As you guys can see, I get a ton of wear out of these. You can't really tell on the second one, but it's pretty much about to hit pan. It just is a lot lower where this one, I guess I just hit more in the center. These are just great everyday neutral shades that I end up reaching for a lot. I'm also going to be keeping these two shadows from Jouer. As you can see, I get a lot of use out of these as well, um, especially this top darker one I use for eyeliner a lot and or just good quality shadows that I like having in my collection. And then the last shadow I'm going to be keeping is from the brand Mellow. This is in the shade Pitch, and honestly, I totally forgot that I had this because it was buried beneath other shadows that I just wasn't reaching for. So I do want to see if I use this in the next couple of months now that I remember I have it. I really like colors like this for smoking out eyeliner and just having a softer defined eyeliner type of look, if that makes sense. So I think I will get good use out of this. I just totally forgot that I had it. The second to last container up here is just my mascaras and eyebrow gel. As you can see, I'm pretty low on this one, but not completely out yet. So I need to pick up a refill of this sooner rather than later. And then I actually picked up new mascaras and primers at Ulta last week. Um, but I just wanted to use these up for like another week before replacing them. So I'm going to go ahead and toss all three of these actually because I have the refills ready to go. I touched on this a little bit in my last vlog, but I try to stay on top of replacing any product that actually touches my eye, like eyeliners or mascaras, just because I feel like that actually matters if it expires. Clearly, I don't think it matters if eyeshadow <laughs> expires or even face powders to some degree but mascaras and eyeliners, I think I do a pretty good job of keeping up with, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and toss these just because I already have the replacements. And then in this last container, I have my eyebrow pencil, which I love from Wet n Wild. I have a felt tip eyeliner pen from Essence, two stick eyeliners from Essence, which all of those I purchased a couple of months ago. And then I have this shadow stick from CoverGirl. This is another product that I really love for mornings when I'm trying to get ready quickly or don't feel like doing an eye makeup look but want something there. I feel like this is really easy to throw on my lash line or all over the lid for a quick put together look. As you can see, this is much less full than it originally was. So this is everything that I am going to be parting with, which I feel like compared to past videos is actually a decent amount of stuff that I'm getting rid of. So feeling good about that and really excited at how much more space I have here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and like wipe everything down, clean this out. Like as you can see, it's super dusty just from everyday use. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out clean the brushes and then reorganize this to hopefully all fit in one unit and then I'll give you guys an update after. Pretend that the makeup brushes are clean. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them after this, but I wanted to show you guys everything in the good daylight. But I think that this looks so much better. I love that everything is in this one organizer now. And even though it does look pretty compact, there's still a decent amount of room. Like these roll around here. There's definitely a lot more room here. And I think that this just looks like a much more clean organized collection and everything's like dusted out you can see like the bottom of this container is a lot cleaner as well which just looks so much better in my opinion again i understand this isn't a minimalist collection but i do think it's certainly more cleaned out than it was earlier today and i feel really good about it i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this week's video here let me know if you guys want to see a part two or part three to this like i said i've just been really craving having less in my life and could definitely film another video of this cleaning out my closet or just around my general apartment so let me know if you all would want to see that i'm gonna go ahead and leave links to the makeup organizer and all the products down below in case any of you guys are interested interested in those as well. I will also be sure to put any shade names for like the foundations and stuff like that just as a reference. But yeah, I think that that is everything for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support as always. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.